Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Barboa run. This is a post-editing intro that I'm recording for the Golden Path mission. And the last time that we were in action I needed to pay, uh, take a cliffhanger and kind of split the entire mission in two. We fought incredibly hard to remind ourselves, uh, started up uh, with uh, fighting against a couple of packs. Then the Chosen Assassin came in, we just fought for our lives, uh, hundreds of loss came in between. Then we pulled the Sectopod, then we pulled another pack, then we pulled yet another pack, and then we finally made it all the way to the bridge and pulled yet another pack. Uh, meanwhile, or all the while, we had been swarmed by the Losts, left and right they were coming, not leaving us be for a single moment. So that was really an intense mission. We're jumping back into the gameplay where we are left with nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing. No Mimic Beacons, no Explosives, nothing but a few Rookies with some guns, some motivation and the will to survive just in the truest sense of uh, the eye of the tiger. It's time to climb these sta stairs in Pittsburgh and show everybody how fit they are. Let's go and see how well we're doing. Okay, so whew, how is this going to go? We can't, let's fight it heads on. That's not going to work. Full cover it is, and we just gotta stand our ground, somehow. Leaning out, killing that codex, and showing them who's boss. Do we have blue screen rounds? No. But this here is blue, yep. Okay, very good. Moving into full cover. All right, come on. Enemy is still up. Okay. Not working. Hold back, doesn't... We don't even really need to reload here. Overwatch, Overwatch. Sort of hoping that this guy is going to shoot. Oh, that was a nice gesture. Like it. Okay, even more losses appear. This is such a crazy, so over the top mission, I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. The whole uh, continuous swarm of losts just makes this here hard to bear, really. Eliminating. The Codex. Okay, so far so good. Moving over, come on. Well, that other Codex needs to die as well. We can't leave it be. Nah, I can't stand here. We need to stand all the way back. 
and reload. That's outside of uh, the Andromedon's reach. Couple of dashers need to go. Okay, well, 98% short missed, of course. Talking about our Jesus. But we're still going to go through this. The game will not deter me. I am determined to set the thing straight here. Yeah, go ahead and shoot the lost. I don't care. I tell you from experience, dear Andromedron, that there are more lost than you would think. Well, it has a pretty good aim, but also limited ammunition. Some of them, please go here and just destroy the cover. I would appreciate that a lot. So, a cover destruction is not going to happen, apparently. Enders. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, yeah, come on. The Undead Hunter, how they called him. Not a single lost was safe as long as this man had a gun. He just reloaded. And went on and on and on. But we're reloading. There are two ways of how this could go. We could gamble or we play it safe. And I think playing it safe might be the better choice here. Gamble is waiting for that guy to strike the lost in melee. And with it destroy his own cover just like they did before. Playing it safe essentially fully shredding it acknowledging that the loss uh, that the Andromedon is a pretty impressive and dangerous foe That's it, I'm out. and then charging back into full cover in the mild hopes of destroying him Thank God, this guy is down. It's unbelievable. This mission is still going. Time to mop him up. I don't even know what to say. Like, it. this is maybe the longest mission I've ever played. Besides long war missions, which were even longer than this. Next pack is back there. And I don't, I, I, we have nothing left. Whatever is going to be thrown at us now. I suppose we just have to persevere. One of my main problems is I don't know what else I could have done so much better. Maybe at one point not use a, shi a shift of actions, like an advanced teamwork less. Okay, I get it. Like That is an option. But really, could have been, could there, could have, could have done much better job so far. It feels we chuck through so many hit points. And the enemies keep coming and coming and coming. Ready to rock. Understood. Moving out. In our defense, okay, 
We at least have four functioning rookies. No one died so far. And we have good sustainability, uh, sustainability because of the ammunition and the nice weapon augmentations that we have. So that in itself is A+. Plus. Everything else, not so much. All right, I need a short break here. This is going on for too long, guys. Give me a second. I'll be back. Okay, Whew. so let's take a good look here. We know the Andromedon is over there with it, a potential other pack. We want the high ground. And is the least possible problems that come with it. Moving. Raggiungo le coordinate. Good. Since we have nothing for us to show, really the only thing that we can do at this point is lay overwatch traps and try to let them walk into it. All right, that was a successful Overwatch trap. Double Archon, not an easy pack to deal with. Could be easy if we deal enough damage and or execute. Now that looks good. That looks actually quite good. 15 points of damage on the Archon. It's a good starter. This here is a bit of a problem. We might be able to control this. So that is one, two who can take the high ground. Better than no one. Is there an... Yeah. The shell could move all the way to us, but couldn't hit us directly. So I think the third time that they are now introducing the building to us. Not sure why it always triggers. Can't take any of the uh, dashers, but we can take down that Archon. Fantastic. The other Archon is also a big problem. Uh, Endors couldn't make it up there. Alright. Gotta be really careful here and think one. Uh, mm, turn ahead okay so what I mean with that is next turn we might move away from that spot and allow someone else to take that spot so I don't want to empty the entire magazine execute come on uh, not quite but close very close
trying desperately to get somewhere into decent cover. I mean, this is an obvious choice, but too close, so he could fly in and melee attack. Also, the suit might be a problem. Let's use this side here. Half cover is not perfect, but we have a couple of other soldiers in half cover as well. Two, four, six, eight, yeah, that's a kill. This guy is far enough away so that he can't reach us. Which brings us to the Archon, come on. Moving into full cover because we have the lowest health. And there is an execute. I know it. Come on. There you go, baby. Ooh, now we're talking. Just gotta persuade the gods of XCOM to give you those sweet, sweet executes. Good, double Archon uh, plus an Andromedon shell is not an easy encounter by any means. We were quite fortunate to to get them into an Overwatch trap. Back Two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's just start with a couple of obvious choices here. Down, down, Enemies down. Not sure. We're going to deal with this guy in a second. Reload first. Dasher dies. And the shell needs to go as well. Target disabled. I'm low on ammo. Two, four, six, seven. That's okay. Enemy eliminated. Ready to engage. Ammo. Good. We're taking the full cover over here. Very good. Moving them away. And Oz takes the spot. And we got one Overwatch. That's all we got. At least we got some high ground and we gotta play we can play around with that high ground, but also with a few losts. Good, taking a move over here. Nothing. We're just blocking the stairs for the loss for now. Levert moves up. Getting it done. Let's do this. Reload. Overwatch. Reload. Okay, we're good. We are good. Well, they are now all the way below us. Moving in. Let's get rid of the losts. No. 
Good. Just time to get the advents away from here. Uh, the loss. The advents as well, but the loss. Good old 99% shot. Straight up missed. So soon another set of loss will come. I think we're going to take this high ground here. And we'll complement with the two downstairs. Good copy. Moving up. Moving. Back online. Time to reload wherever possible and then just overwatch. Okay, Ooh. more swarms. I haven't completely counted uh, the number of enemies, but we had first pack, if my memory serves me well, was a pack of two. Then we had the trolls, that's three. Then we had uh, the sector pod, that's four. And we had another pack of two, uh, six. And we had another pack of two, that's eight. And we had a pack behind the bridge of three, that's eleven. And now we had another pack of two, that's fifteen. I'm on the move. I think we had twenty-one enemies. So we maybe are looking for something like one or two more packs. Very good. Last pack is potentially in here. There's a high likelihood that it is an advent pack of some sort or some more archons. some matrix moves he went forward and backward and then forward again Clean house. Roby starts. Very good. Unfortunately, at this point, we're so out of ambient, uh, so out of uh, auto reloaders that every single wave of loss just costs us time to reload. We know they have opened the door. Hostile neutralized. Draining ammo fast. That may Hostile or may not We're indicate that no there is someone in there. Ready to engage. 
I'm just careful with our advancements here. For all I'm concerned, this is potentially the last lost. And we got a nice little overwatch trap here. Come on, man, at least one hit. Didn't really work out that well. We're going into a high ground full cover here with Roby. Couple of the lots need to go. And the elite trooper is our easiest target to harass. Moving over here mainly because I don't want to be grenaded and that could very easily happen. Undying loyalty, wow, fantastic. Just when you need it, right? Right? move over here take shots this is too close undying loyalty would get us could move over here out of line of sight Rolling. who's the next most dangerous target is the question I think the shield bearer is quite dangerous Priest will take someone out with stasis though. Enemy is still up. On and those moves over here. Okay. So we're in a solid shootout. We have full cover. It's the best we can get. Like it won't be, it won't get much better than that. There's the stasis. Almost on unavoidable. We're going to see some shields from behind. I think he messed up a little. Ah, well, maybe he did not mess up. We got an undying loyalty problem. If 
Just move into here, we know the zombie is up there. I know, shocker, right? Time to get a bit more aggressive. We still got the chance to execute. That's a nice little hit, could be a crit. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Good damage. Going with full aggression. Is that worth it though? If we move to here, and if we then miss, we're likely going to be dead. Here is still okay because they can't take positions here due to being flanked. So they will likely move back, and maybe one of them flanks Roby. Potentially a mind control. So although this is aggressive, it's not like ludicrously aggressive. All right, come on. Okay. Well, it's the best we could do. We are going to take some damage now. Mind control. Half cover. Thank you, body armor. And we dodged it. Fantastic. <sighs> the Lost Swarm. Just makes it so much more difficult. Six, eight, kill. Target neutralized. Enemy down. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Yep, another kill. We're going to get to this guy in a second. Target eliminated. Could use some ammo over here. That's unfortunately a fifty fifty. best shot that we could take destroying the mind control I still hit on that priest should have potentially gone for this guy first because then we wouldn't have uh, needed to get through the shields of the priest come on crit Got a free light, uh, shot here. That's a problem. That hit, however, will be a problem as well. Ready to engage. Reloading. And let's kill this guy. Kill confirmed. Good. We're having one shot and one hit.
It was the lesser evil. At least he did not have bleeding rounds. Good. Need a med kit here. Not so good. Reloaded. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Try to kill him. Okay, even if we're out of ammunition, that was still the right call. Get that shield bearer down. Bersaglio neutralizzato. Munizioni andate. Got some goods here. Come get some. I'm on it. This whole mission feels a bit like Mission Impossible. Continuously, someone from somewhere. Is trying to interrupt us. No longer a threat. Target neutralized. Good. The one with the most hit points left. Confirmed. He's going to carry this suit. Bivat moves up. And we just want to get out of here. I'm ready. Ricaricato. I'm ready. Okay. Taking the high ground. Okay. Taking the high ground. Good. Imagine if I would have put the school jack into one of the codices. Oh my god, that would have been bad. Rolling. Heading to that location. On the move. So we're overwatching here, I don't know what we're dealing with. On Overwatch. Position confirmed. Moving to here. Now. Moving a bit to here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And moving to here. Mi muovo verso le That's good enough of uh, defense. I hope that the extraction zone will be somewhere Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. on the back side here. The reason why I'm not picking up the suit right away is I want to kill the lost. And then we're picking it up, plus I want double move. The moment that we pick it up, 
um, the extraction zone appears and the faster we can get to it, uh, the less reinforcements we have to deal with. We'll deal with them in a second. I got yet another meeting. Is this mission is just the longest in the history of missions. And I'll be back in a second. Good, we are back, took a bit, and after the appointment is right before a next adventure. So let's start with getting rid of these 2468. That's a kill. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Not a hundred percent kill. That's a hundred percent kill. Enemy eliminated. Toss me some ammo. Good riddance. Good to go here. Good. Trying to get rid of all of those lost dashers. Very good. So, just wondering, uh, that wasn't all of it. There must be a few more. Good. Let's put Andres on the other side. And he has the biggest magazine, so might as well kill every single one of them. Alright, we're overwatching. Is that hopefully everything this whole mission even the the mission starts to slow down considerably no wonder after what feels like okay finally no wonder after what feels like almost 200 um, enemies that we that we have killed Good. We got our exit zone here. Start the carry. Full charge <clears throat> towards the evac zone. Equally so, the rest of the team also charges. Unfortunately, reinforcements are now coming in. Let's hope it is not a heavy mech. It is not. That's good, because a heavy mech would have immediately gone on to Overwatch. That's what they tend to do. Good. 
But the risk is not over yet. Stun Lancer certainly can be a problem. And we can't leave in just one turn. Which means, whether you want it or not, this here will be a fight. Alright, Anders. Moves up. Sun Lancer is the first one who needs to go. 90% shot is a miss. That is very unfortunate. We still need to focus on the Sun Lancer, there is no way around it. Both of us are in full cover, so that's good. Keep it going. Can't flank him from up here. Execute, come on. Down to three hit points. Here we go. Sucks, but we can't we just can't leave now. We got reload. Can't even shoot. As expected, we're going to get some stasis. Shot into full cover. No, worse. Hundred percent shot. Might as well reload and take this guy down for now. Enemy down. Luckily no undying loyalty. Endors moves in. Same problem here, come on. Nice little hit, good good hit. Fantastic hit. This here looks like a bit of an odd position. It isn't that odd. Uh, he could be flanked here, but the, he wouldn't. He wouldn't position himself here because he gets flanked as well. That's one option. The other one is high ground uh, and trying to shoot there. This here would be a bad option. I think we gotta take some risks now. A to do it, Divat goes in, risks it. Full cover, very close, nearly 100%. And there's the kill. Mind control, hopefully. Mind control. 
Okay. Now we have a problem with the loss, on top of all of the other problems that we already had. Kind of an obvious choice. Via, via, via. Interrupting the mind control. Alright, snatched out of it. Execute. But close, so close. Okay, before we do anything stupid. Let's first of all kill the priest. He has everything on cooldown. And that in return unfortunately means next abilities that he uses are going to be shots. I got a piece. Down to 1 HP? Oh no. Stupid sustenance here. Yep, go for the lost. Damn right. Hit the ones with more HP, dude. Very good. That ended his turn. We're likely getting hit. Nice. Pause. He evades it. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, done. Let me just double check. Still can't leave. What a joke. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Ordine ricevuto. Anders moves away. Can we kill this guy? We can. Okay, cool. Pick up the suit, GTFO, Divert, gets out of as well, and finally Rovi. Good. Two are out, two are staying back. End of turn. We're behind, so he can't really see us. 
I figured mind control would be an option, that's why I did not just leave one behind, because otherwise he would have been mind controlled. We don't need more reinforcements. Oh boy. This might might have been one of uh, the most difficult missions that I've played. 194 enemies killed. Holy shit. That's a lot. That mission alone accounted for almost 200 kills. Wow. Just wow. Look, fantastic. That was wow. That was just wow. So much fighting in a single mission. I think I've never had 200 enemies in one mission. To impress, Commander. The loss of this facility and the recovery of the alien specimen. And we got an we got a remote reconnaissance indicator. UFO that is searching for us. It was I don't want to be shut down again. That would just make it awkward to defend yet again, specifically since so many of our soldiers are currently in a tough spot. To stop your interference with the elders' visions before it is too late, Commander. Research delayed by seven days. Well, yeah, we need that extra intel. So let's continue the research. We have the soldiers to spare. We should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. Very good. Well Research facility in there. Oh, let's get that going. And I think we have officially enough contacts to make make it through the entirety of uh, Africa as well. There we go. Make contact. Chosen yes, please. Hard at work for his masters in this area. Should have made the contact here first and then started building the tower. Uh, that's a bit suboptimal. Anyways, let's continue. Bond level upgrades finally available. That's good. That's very good. Thank you. Lots of people recovered from their wounds, even better. And there's a last minute mission. One well, that isn't too bad. I mean, 91 Intel. We would potentially fight against uh, the Hunter, but it offers us an option to to get more intel and therefore expand uh, towards South Africa, which is where we want to be next. Um, and it'll give an option to do something uh, to finalize the month. But that's going to happen in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content and specifically if you enjoyed the long, drawn out, hard fought mission, then this deserves a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Just what you thought about that last mission. Thanks a lot and see you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.